<laughs> it's election day in Manchester. Mayoral candidate Kevin Cavanaugh drew a crowd of supporters to the polls in Ward 1, where he cast his ballot and told News 9 his candidacy is in the hands of the voters now. I feel great. I mean, it is, the energy out here is phenomenal. I mean, people are ready to go. I mean, this is six months ago we put this day on the calendar, and it's, you know, it's today's game day. So telling everyone, get out and vote. You know, this is, this is what it's about. This is our democracy. And... Let's keep Manchester going forward. Thank you so much. Jay Rue voted bright and early when polls opened at 6 a.m. His campaign knocked on 40,000 doors all over the Queen City this year, making the rounds to all 12 wards today. He says the positive energy is palpable. We feel terrific. We've talked to hundreds of people already. We've already been to half of the city, and the message that we've been receiving is a lot of what we've been talking about, that people are looking for a change to the status quo, standing up and solving the problems that we have with homelessness and public safety. And yeah, so we feel pretty good about where we are. While the homeless crisis and housing are top of mind for voters, citizens are also concerned about city schools. I think that's important that, you know, um, you know, schools and kids are safe and, you know, not being preyed upon. Others say public safety is the biggest issue facing Manchester. Huge. I want to be able to be out in my city and make sure I'm safe. Kavanaugh is the native son here. Rue is the change candidate. Both are ready for voters to render their verdict. I think right now the majority of what we've heard is that people are looking for a change, a break in the status quo, so that we can finally reach our full potential here in the city of Manchester. And I think we represent that. Get out and vote and take, take, keep Manchester going forward because I love it and I, I know people love it too. And get out and vote. In Manchester, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.